Hi, this is Naomi with the Top Shelf VA TV, your place for creativity and inspiration for business and life. Today is part two for capturing keystroke data automatically as callouts in Camtasia 9 using the Camtasia 9 recorder and in the Camtasia 9 workspace. Part one was demonstrating how to use the Camtasia 9 keystroke annotation callout to manually show keystrokes within a video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll have a link to that Camtasia 9 tutorial in the description below and at the end of this tutorial. A quick reminder, please subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on notifications so you know right away when a new video is loaded. Today we're going automated. The first thing we need to do is to make sure our Camtasia 9 recorder is set to capture the keyboard input. Click on record. Then when the Camtasia 9 recorder opens, click on tools and options. Under the general tab, make sure capture keyboard input is checked. Then click on OK. Now record your screencast and Camtasia will also record all your keyboard shortcuts as you record. For this demonstration, I have already done a little Photoshop recording. Let me go ahead and get rid of this system audio as I don't need it. Go up to the top menu and click on Modify and then Generate Keystroke Callouts. If you don't want a black background on your keystrokes, Uncheck the Display Keystrokes on Background box. Click on the drop-down arrow to select the callout style you would like. You have traditional keystrokes, and if you look in the main box area on the right, you will see the style change. Gray keystrokes, clear keystrokes, and white outline keystrokes. I like the gray keystrokes, so let's select that. Now, every single solitary keystroke shortcut may not appear. So you can click on Show All and then make sure to check each blank box so it will appear. After everything is set as you want it, click on Generate. You will now see Camtasia 9 enters the keystroke callout in each location you had a keystroke shortcut. You can go through each of the keystroke callouts and delete any you don't want. Simply select it and hit your Delete key. We can see the callouts are all smack dab in the center of the canvas. You probably don't want them there. If you want to move them, highlight all the keystroke callouts on the track and make sure your playhead is over one of the keystroke callouts. And you can move all of them at once to the location you want. Then if you wish, you can do minor adjustments if you want them to start at a specific point by selecting the first one on the track, moving it slightly on the canvas to where you want it to start. Then select each callout and move it on the canvas so the left side matches up with the one prior to it. You will be able to tell it is lined up by the yellow line. There you have it, how to automatically record and capture all keystroke shortcuts while doing a Camtasia 9 screencast recording. Then add those keystrokes to the timeline. If you have a question and would like me to create a Camtasia tutorial video for you, simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Feel free to share this video on any of your other social media platforms and encourage your friends to subscribe to this channel. As always, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day.